Hey everyone, Zephyr here with another IGM Let's Try. Today we've got a game called Slam Bolt Scrappers, which is an interesting little twist on Tetris, and probably a couple other puzzle types. I'll show you what I mean though. It is a Tetris game first, but the blocks that you build and put together shoot each other. <laughs> and you have to actually kill bugs to get more blocks and fight off the other guys. You have to fight. Basically, the entire thing is fighting. It's definitely not called Slam Bolt for nothing. You have combos that you can put together. You can only hold a certain number of of blocks from what I found. That or I'm accidentally swapping them out and not realizing it. Not really sure which. <laughs> it's interesting focusing on basically three different things at once. The enemy, your blocks, the bugs, well, and anything else that happens to pop on the screen. Like those ninjas. The ninjas give you bonuses if you can kill them. You notice also that the different... Oh, that's interesting. It fixed up all my blocks. You notice there's also different colored blocks. The red ones, I think, shoot lasers. The red or the... I'm sorry, the purple ones shoot lasers. The red ones shoot missiles. The green ones shoot those little screw guys. And the blue ones create shields. Oh crap, I just screwed up. <laughs> and that's that. You you win the battle and beat the enemy. Oh, interesting. Whenever they run out of weapons. So all you have to do is break their weapons, which is kind of a passive thing. Basically, you have to keep building more, more of your own weapons and defending your weapons while... Yeah, fighting the off the enemy and making sure they don't build anything. Ooh, new area. Neon City. You notice there's four difficulty levels. Casual, normal, hard, expert. I'm not even going to try over normal. If you watch any of my videos, you notice that puzzles aren't my strongest point. I do decently at them, I think. But they're definitely not a, a primary focus of mine. Stop building blocks. I love the switcheroo. You punch him once, hit him, then you hit him with the other one. Oh, I see. You have to break those before they, well, demolish your blocks. So if they get left alone, what's with the timer? Um, that's interesting. No screw. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> There's a lot of different little elements of this game. I don't really always know what they do. And that is the, like, essentially damage power-up boost. It's awesome. It just demolishes everything. So many little... Oh, that speeds it up. If you keep hitting it, it speeds up the swap. That's weird. Ah, yes, there's the block too. Can't forget about the block. Because if you if they block, they get stunned for a short time. I rather like these um screw bolt blocks, especially when you well, when you take the enemy's life all the way down, they go away for a short time. Oh, I didn't pick the block up. And in that time, the, your, your drill bit bits are just chewing away. Ninja. The ninjas are almost always worth it. Oh, interesting. That switcheroo is just downright evil. I love it. There are a lot of little guys. Hit the top button and you can switch through your stuff. Done. You notice if you add on the blocks, the weapons are always square. So if you take a four piece and add on a, another layer on top and the side, it gets bigger. 
I imagine it can continue to get bigger as long as you can keep adding on blocks. However, different colors do not combine. They block each other. So, and like that big old hole I've got there under the green blocks, can't do anything with that. There are some transparent blocks. Oh, it's actually right down there in between our two platforms on the that bottom little sheet of metal. Let's see if I can, hopefully you can see the mouse cursor. <laughs> but that little guy, if you pick that one up and go carry it over and hover it over your blocks, you can move whatever you select and put it wherever else you want. All right, show you one more new area, mountaintop. Oh, is this, oh, this is a boss, good. A nice little last one to show off. I have not fought a boss before, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if I can fight him directly much or if I just have to keep buffing my weapons. <laughs> I imagine if I have to fight or if I can fight him directly though, I'm hitting his chest. Yep, boom. Oh, he windmill windmilled at me. Oh my, that sucks. And then I break it, okay. I can handle that. Whoa. Crap, that was so not where I meant to put that. I should probably break that. Ow. There we go. See, if I pick this up, I can grab that and put it down there. Pick another one up, grab it. Oh, they're breaking my blocks, damn it. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. None of that now. See, the, the little guys that drop blocks, these things also damage your stuff. Oh, if I can get a superpower ninja, I can probably beat his face in. Come on. Drop it. That works too. Ow. All right. Man, he did it again. At least it's pretty easy to knock off. Get rid of this thing. There we go. I don't know what that does. Oh, he hit. I'm about to die. Out of the way. The blue one's shield, as I think you might have might have pointed out before. Oh, we got him. That was definitely not the best way that could have gone. But that's how you fight boss battles. Fight him off, try not to die. There are apparently unlockable hats in this game. Let's go see how that works real quick. Back to the menu. Uh, back to the menu again, maybe? Settings. No. Okay, so I don't know how the hats work. Oh, yes I do. <laughs> I didn't know I had that many hats. Wow. Interesting, and does it work for anybody? Yep. You have the same hats for every character, but you can interchange them amongst whoever you want to. Very interesting. And that is Slam Bolt Scrappers. That's how that goes down. There is obviously a multiplayer mode, fight against each other. And, or you can go straight into battle. What is that? Different teams, different blocks. You have to beat the first five stages of the game to unlock this, but that's really not difficult. That's basically the tutorial. After that, you start getting into the stages where they let you pick the difficulty and all that stuff. So yeah, that could definitely be fun. It's got a multiplayer mode. That's always good. People love PvP modes. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me for Slam Bolt Scrappers, and we'll pick it up again with some more next time. Take care. See you later, all.